Welcome. In the other video we've just created is, is all about um, arc colora theme, well, and, and script that changes the arc blue theme. This video is going to be a super fast, short video on how to do it. Well, first get your stuff in. So GitHub, Eric Dubois, arc colora, let's see what we get. We need to go to the repositories of Eric Dubois. There's this is the last one, updated a minute ago. You download the zip, last video I did it a git clone, so let's download it this time. I don't need it, but let's keep it open. You go to the downloads and we are going to need this one, right? Up to the desktop, extract it here. So I'm gonna go rather quick about it. Uh, these guys are not important for you. This is the one you need. Use this just this for just one theme, so one color theme. Now colors, colors. What's the problem with colors? When you start tweaking, and you look at the appearance, and you have icons, and for instance, we have these new icons from Sardi Mint, and I've just made an, uh, a new arc theme for Sardi Mint Y Aqua. And it's uh, down here, up here, aqua should be here, right? So this is the new theme that I'll, I'll put uh, online later on. So if you see it, the colors, it's the same blue as the other. Now I had this idea, let's make the same video that I just did without video. Assuming you have an icon theme that you say, I like this icon theme, and I was thinking about this guy. So we have the Sardi Mint Y icons, uh, pink here. Um, the thing is, it can go well with this one. It can go well with that one, but it's a bit over the top maybe. Same goes for this one. It's also a reddish. Did I just now close that? But the best for them is maybe a frolly, but even a frolly is um, still a little bit off. So I was thinking, what if what if, right, we take a go at the script and see what happens if we make that's also nice. Hibiscus and Mandy is a little bit more darkish. It is okay. It can be applied and it's still okay. But what if we wanted to exact same color as this one? Then the Arc Colora script comes in. So we go and have a look at the themes and we need to know what color that is. So we go to, sorry, to the icons. It's an icon we need to look for. Sardi Mint Y Pink. So this is the pink icon places. Let's take just, well, let's take a bigger one. 48 is big enough. It's like this one, okay? So this one is a color. Then we start with GPIC and we click on the swatches read down here press spacebar to sample color color is sampled copy to clipboard we have the color of this element we don't need you anymore we don't want you anymore and then we go to the scripts and in the scripts it says get the necessary software so fine run number one and i ran the software everything is okay then it says, go to number two, go to number two, change the color, first open it up, just don't run it. You need to change the color, and the color is this one, without a hashtag. It says here, no hashtag. Okay, save, otherwise it's still red. It's going to change everything that's blue into our color, our pink color, and anything in this folder here, that he finds is now pink. Done. Number three is run the application that's provided by Nico. And Nico has made a, 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 well, a make install to, okay, he's asking my password, didn't see it. He's um, going to build it simply in a simple, just a make install. Okay, auto generate prefix user. So everything is going to the user share themes and is now doing this line sudo make install. 
As a result, we can already look a little bit at the common and, and hopefully we like what we see. This is going to be the color. I know this one for a fact that uh, is going to be well pink, very easy to know. Always the first one, first one, first one, first one. This is your color change. That's what you did. It used to be blue. It is now pinkish. Um, another thing that I can show you is another interesting thing is this one, Assets SVG. And I've opened it with Sublime Text, which you can do as well since it's text, but it's maybe graphical to do it like this. So any element that Arc theme uses has been changed via the scripts from blue to pink. That's basically what we did. And all we did new, blah, need to do is just wait for this to, to stop. So I'll just stop the video here and wait for the script to end. Okay, the script has finished, meaning we can actually see it already if we want to. Let's, let's do it, we want to, right? Appearance, your arc theme is now this beautiful pink. Yes, it's the arc theme that has changed. So arc dark, this is basically what we wanted to achieve. It doesn't look that bad, really. So maybe it's a keeper. So it's not done yet. <laughs> well, first of all, we have broken our original one, but everything is explained. This is number three. Number four is going to rename a move and it's going to be called pink. And I've removed everything now to the themes. And these guys, I've made those in previous videos and attempts. So this guy is what I made now, pink darker. And then last but not least, number five, clean up the themes, meaning everything is gone. Um, you can now rebuild it with the other scripts. You can say, I'm gonna rebuild it, reinstallation of original arc theme number six, or as they say, just do sudo pacman minus s arc gtk theme, since we are on Arch Linux, which is much quicker than rebuilding everything. And it's back. Check if it's back. Let's go up, appearance. There's my arc dark, switch between it. And here your arc theme is back to normal. So that's the shorter video than the other one. And that's how we, well, get these new arc GTK themes. And that's how we start designing our, our, our own, uh, well, computer system. All right, enjoy.